Good morning, Marines. Good morning, Fed Civs, contractors, and welcome to uh, Network Activity, NCR, National Capital Region. This has been an idea that's been ongoing for about five years, about organizing the Marine Corps into a way to provide command and control over our enterprise networks. So the Marine Corps Requirement Oversight Council, which is chaired by the Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps, and all of his deputy commandants all get a vote, and they have voted unanimously to establish three network battalions and three network activities. And what they would do would be assume control under MAR4 Cyber, the command and control of the enterprise networks. You guys are a part of that. You're actually the second step now in this, in this process. This is gonna take place over the next two years. So you're gonna see three things happen this year. First network battalion stands up out in Camp Pendleton. That's done, checking the block. We have a commander there now. Lieutenant Colonel Juliet Calvin has command of 1st Network Battalion. There is no more Mitzi West. It's 1st Network Battalion, and they're responsible for that, for that region. The second step is, is you all, the National Capital Region. And we're going to do that in, in really two steps. The first one is the Quantico area, and then the next step is going to be the Pentagon and Kansas City IT Center. And, uh, and that's going to take place a little bit later uh, on 30 October. So you guys go, go first. And then the third thing that we're gonna do this year, we're gonna stand up mar 4 your afs network activity. So network activity, mar 4 your af So what does this do? It realigns the workforce and all of the resources. So I'm talking about people and money. What this really does for the Marine Corps, the big bang for our buck, is it provides unity of command and unity of effort. So we all have one commander now. The, you, all these network activities and network battalions will work for the CO and the MACOG, me right now, somebody else next year, and they all report to Major General Glavy, who has his authorities, which he receives from U.S. Cyber Command, from General Nakasone. So one single line now for seamless command and control of the enterprise network, vice seven different commanders in eight different regions, really organizing, controlling, this network. So that's really the big bang for our buck and where we're really gonna see some, some synergies and, uh, and really realignment of our workforce in our, in our dollars. Congratulations, network activity. You're the first one. You're the first network activity to stand up in the Marine Corps. You guys are now plank holders. You guys are the, 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 the seed that, that's gonna actually you know, grow into something that's really going to allow us to fully have C2 of this entire network. So really exciting times. So Pat, over to you and your team. Congratulations. For me, this is a, this is a great day in the Marine Corps. I'm really proud to be part of this. I told that to, to Colonel Debish that I, I just appreciate the opportunity to, to lead you. We have a special mission here. It's true, the battalion has a MEF they're supporting, and they have a special organization to do that. But what we do here supports the warfighter directly with, without us. You know, the things that Mar Marco Syscom fields, the things that HMX does, we have a hugely important mission. And I'm lucky because you do it every day right now successfully. So I'm starting there with, with a Mitzi that had a great reputation and had succeeded in their everyday mission. So we start there and from there we can build efficiencies. We can get the latest technology. We can move to the cloud. We can move to, to uh, you know, VD, Zipper VDI. We can move to things like VoIP perhaps someday. And you haven't left behind your current brothers and sisters at the base, as, as uh, Colonel Debbie said. They're, they're still there for us. We have to work, we'll, we'll work as a team with them to make sure every user on the base has the best services possible. So I'm gonna have close relationships with them and all the tenant commands. I, I need to make your job as easy as possible. So that's my intent. 